sub this to fucking Desert Dime. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So this whole video and the idea uh, behind the video was all very impromptu, very last minute uh, as you could tell by it getting dark. But in a couple days I'm heading out of state to go visit my grandparents and since they're kind of old, their, their legs aren't working as good as they used to and they can't drive. So I'm going to be driving them while I'm out there. And as you guys know, my truck is lifted pretty high off the ground, especially for an elderly person whose legs aren't working too well. So I'm thinking, how can I make this an easier experience all around and make it less dangerous for them to get in and out of the truck while I'm out there? And I thought, you know what, I need some side steps on this, but just temporarily because I don't like running side steps in the desert because I like my ground clearance and I don't want anything hanging too low. So I don't run side steps normally, but I need it to help them get in and out of the truck. So I went on Instagram and I put on my story asking, hey, does anybody have side steps I can borrow for a few days? And a couple people reached out and I have one of my followers meeting up with me right now who's gonna let me uh, borrow his side steps for a few days actually, which is really nice. So he's gonna be here in a few minutes. We're gonna take the side steps off of his truck, put them on my truck, and we're gonna get to see what my second gen would look like with side steps. All right, so here's the man himself over there. You wanna say hi? <laughs> I'm gonna throw his Instagram on the screen because he was nice enough to actually lend these to me for a week and I'm sorry I couldn't get a shot of your truck in the daylight. It's really dark now, but it's actually a pretty clean build and oh there you go. Thank you Gion. Get, get the front here. Look at that. Ambered out. All the black accents on a white truck. Super clean, super clean. And he says he's got a lot. You have a lot of different suspension parts coming in soon for... Pretty much the same setup you got. Nice. And then he's gonna send it in the desert. <laughs> okay, so we haven't taken off the driver's side yet, but I did just get the passenger side off Which we're gonna take over to my truck and make sure they line up before I rip off the driver's side All right, so now we have the fun task of installing these in the dark. Luckily Cole finally got some lights <laughs> The one time I bring my own lights from home They were a gift Oh, for Christmas? Yeah Oh, Merry Christmas to you all right, so now that we have them off his truck, it's time to throw them on my truck. And if you guys didn't know, the bolt patterns on the bottom are the same on second and third gen. So second gen and third gen side steps are the same. They are interchangeable. So that's really good for us. So now it's time to just bolt these on real fast. Six simple little bolts on each side, and then my truck will have a new temporary model. So we got the driver's side on now and I don't know how I feel about these still. I was kind of expecting to fall in love with them when I got them on, but I don't know. I think second gens just look a lot cleaner with nothing down there. Maybe a rock slider that like hugs the body. But as you can see, there's like a big gapping there between the body and the step itself, which I mean, I guess is because they designed these for third gens or they were designed for third gens around their bodies, like shape and style. I don't know. I'm, they're gonna serve the purpose that I put them on for. It's giving me about an extra foot of, of where I'm stepping now versus where we would have to step without them, so that's good. But style-wise, I don't know if I could get behind them on my truck at least. They look all right, they don't look too bad, but just not as clean as they look on the third gens in his truck. See how clean it looks, no step on this side. And then steps on this side. I don't know, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. You prefer the steps or no steps? So last I left you guys off, I had just gotten the steps on, but it was dark out, you couldn't get a really good look at it, so I wanted to wait till the following day, which is today, to show you guys the final results of what it looks like, or what my truck would look like with side steps. 
So here we see we have the Predator steps, or uh, I'm not sure if that's what Toyota calls them, that's what NFAB calls them, it's the same design and everything, but the third gen steps uh, from the Tacomas on a second gen. I don't know how I feel about the look. I think personally, I like the clean look of nothing there and just the body line. It gives it the higher look, it gives it a more aggressive, sporty look, but I'm not too upset about this. Again, if it's for a purpose, like people who can't climb into a high truck as well, I think it's a very good look for that. But personally for me and the off-roading I do, I just don't want uh, steps or anything hanging down low just in case I snag it while off-roading. So I don't know how I feel. Again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the look. Let me know if you think the steps look good. Let me know if you think rock sliders will look better or if you like the bear look better than all of these. Again, huge shout out to Grayson. Thank you so much for letting me borrow these for the time being. I promise I'll return them to you in very good condition. <laughs> and guys, thank you so much for tuning into this what if video. You know, what if I had sidestep, what would it look like? I appreciate you guys watching and make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming content. With that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going 